Okay, so we're still looking at styles and structure. So let's look at styles some more. And the idea here is that I can upload an image, which will help define a style. I can use the browse gallery, but we're going to upload an image. I'm going to type in my prompt. I already have the prompt saved. And it's uh, show flight attendant full body in front of an airplane. Make a cartoon from images. Simulate the picture and photo. Click generate. OK. And usually, the best thing to do is to start with the visual intensity in the middle. Okay, and now I'm going to upload an image of some flight attendants and use that as a reference. And this is for stylistic variants. I'm going to click generate. And this is set to art. And so we're using the color scheme and layout to influence the the, um, the illustration here. It's set to art. And of course, I could keep going from there, but you'll see that the image that I chose had a lot of pink in it, and it's referencing that and the style, et cetera. Of course, I could continue modifying it, but the idea is that I have affected it by using a reference, and then I can use the intensity, the visual intensity. If I push that all the way up, it's going to more closely copy the content of the image. Right? And then I can also increase its strength. Okay, so it looks just a little bit more finely detailed. Or I could go the other direction if I take the visual intensity down and click generate. It's going to borrow less from the image and have a little bit more improvisational um, kind of elements in there. Okay, so it's up to you. So this that's uh, one prompt. Let's look at another. I'm going to paste that in. Actually, let's clear everything. And then let's paste this in. And then let's click Generate. So once again, we're looking at styles. So here's what we came up with. A young black man standing in the street in a nice suit, 1940s. And what I want to do is I want to upload an image and use that as a reference. And I happen to have a photo of some young people from the 40s, actually 30s, in suits. And I want to reference that picture and click Generate. So we're going to reference that photograph. And it's going to pull details from the photograph and apply them to our image. And so that they look much more closely aligned. Visual intensity, once again, let's crank that all the way up and generate again. All right, now the content type is set to auto. Auto mode makes content type choices for you, right? But I can, right now it's set to photo. I can go to art. Let's generate again. Okay. So I think I like it better in photo. But as you can see here, it's borrowed heavily from the details of their suits. It looks a little bit more uh, contiguous to the the photograph. 
And so that's the idea of, of, a, of a reference. It's going to borrow those elements, right? And then I can continue working from there. All right, let's take the visual intensity down and see what happens. Best thing to do is start in the middle, bump it all the way up, then bump it all the way down, see which one you like the best. Okay. Let's take the strength down. There we go. So the next thing we'll do is we'll look at reference. 